48-year-old Jeremy Collis of Visit County, Arkansas. He's facing rape charges after he allegedly had sex with an incoherent woman multiple times before she died. The authorities said that the unnamed 38-year-old woman was staying at home with suspect Jeremy Corliss, Mary Corliss and Denise Carpenter, when she became very sick and started to behave strangely. The woman's condition reportedly worsened over the course of 48 hours, and in the 24 hours leading up to her death, she was reportedly incoherent, unable to stand or walk on her own, and unable to talk. Jeremy, Mary and Denise reportedly told investigators that they were taking care of the victim and letting her rest alone in a room, even though the woman's condition was getting worse. On the 29th of August, Mary told detectives that she allegedly saw Jeremy enter the woman's room the day prior and that the victim was laying on the floor and Jeremy shut the door. Jeremy allegedly stayed in the room for about 20 to 30 minutes. Mary said she heard noises in which she described as sounding like someone was having good sex. She also reportedly confirmed that the woman was incoherent at this point. According to Jeremy, the woman lost her ability to audibly speak or communicate in any way approximately 24 hours prior to the assault. He reportedly called his actions foreplay and said they were fooling around. Jeremy allegedly told detectives the sex occurred between 5 and 6 p.m. on the 28th of August and that before and during the assault, he believed the woman was attempting to speak but the noises were inaudible. He also said he couldn't understand what the woman was saying to him. The woman died that same day. In a subsequent interview on the 2nd of September, Jeremy reportedly admitted to sexually assaulting the woman five times. Jeremy told the detectives that he did not think that the woman knew what was taking place during the assaults. The woman's body was sent to the Arkansas Crime Lab for initial cause of death, but the sheriff's office said that a preliminary report shows no trauma to the body that points to foul play. Jeremy is charged with five counts of rape, and he's held at the Izzard County Jail without bond. 38-year-old Melissa Thorpe is behind bars after being accused of killing a four-month-old son Aaron Thorpe, whose skull was reportedly crushed. The incident occurred on the morning of the 12th of September when the authorities responded to an apartment at the 100 block of Jefferson Avenue, just south of East Long Street in Columbus, Ohio, on report of an unresponsive baby. When officers and paramedics arrived at the apartment, the baby was pronounced dead at 8.57am. It was noted that the baby is already in a state of decomposition. The mother, Melissa Thorpe, was reportedly the one who called police about her deceased son. A forensic team with the Franklin County Coroner's Office and the Columbus Police Homicide Detectives conducted an investigation into the boy's death. The Coroner's Office determined that Aaron died from blunt force trauma from having his skull crushed between two objects. The matter was ruled a homicide and Melissa was arrested on the 13th of September. During her arraignment the following morning, a public defender who represented Melissa said that she had recently graduated from a recovery program and the incident occurred at a sober living facility. He said that some fairly extreme lifelong mental issues appeared to be involved in this case and that Melissa had been seeing a number of doctors, including psychiatrists. He said that Melissa was not aware she was pregnant and told the judge that she self-delivered the baby, thinking it was a kidney stone. Melissa is charged with murder and is held on a $750,000 bond. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for the 23rd of September. A home invasion has left 33-year-old Dante Perry dead and his 12-year-old daughter in a critical condition. The incident occurred at around 11.30 at night on the 12th of September when the authorities responded to an apartment located along Rufus Bankston Road in Hammond, Louisiana on reports of an armed robbery. It was reported that four men with guns had broken into Dante's apartment. As deputies responded to the incident, they heard gunfire inside the residence. However, the suspects fled the scene before they could be apprehended. When officers entered the apartment, they discovered Dante dead inside from a gunshot wound. His 12-year-old daughter was shot five times and is expected to survive surgery. Dante's two other children, ages seven and three, were also in the home at the time and were unharmed. Sheriff Jimmy Trevor said it's horrible that someone would intentionally attempt to take a life of a child just because they were present at a crime, or may have witnessed a crime, he said. So it appears to us that after the crime was committed then the suspects attempted to kill everyone involved as witnesses to this incident, he said. Jimmy said the identity of the suspects is unknown at this time, but he believes the motive relates to money and drugs. According to witness testimony, there were drugs inside the apartment at the time of the incident. Dante's cousin Stephen Brown said my cousin was very loving. He was very creative in any way when he touched your spirit. There's nothing he wouldn't do for nobody. But for them to do this to him, it's uncalled for, it's selfish. 
The investigation into the matter continues 